Hello guys, what is going on? It's your girl Blair. Hi, I missed you guys. Um, what's up? How are you doing this evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world watching my video? Hi. Um, I just want to say that. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm doing very well. I'm a very, very, in a very good mood. Um, so basically I watch this show called Atypical. And if you guys don't know, that's what I'm reacting to today. And that I will be re reacting to sh Shazzy. Is that how you say it? Shazzy? I think that's how you say it. I'm not real sure. Is it Shazzy? I, I don't know. It's something like... It's the two girls that, like, are in season two. Like, Casey and Izzy. Like, their ship name or whatever. I don't like... I mean, I'm not saying I don't like the ship name. It's just... I don't know if that fits them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, if you guys don't watch Atypical, you guys fucking should. It's so freaking good. The show is so good. And I hope it gets renewed for season three. If it doesn't, I'm going to go boycott fucking Netflix in Los Angeles. Because that shit is amazing. Like, it just, you know, it just, again, it brings awareness to, like, it brings awareness to people that don't educate themselves on what, people with disabilities like autism go through each and every day and how their life is completely it's like it's like a it's freaking insane like it's such a hard life to live i feel bad for people that do have autism and there was a kid that i went to high school with that actually did have autism or like some like he had a very low level of autism i don't know a little bit like he was like he wasn't like you know like one of the hot autism kids that was like freaking out all the time but he was a very he had the like medium low scale low medium scale of autism so like i was kind of used to that in class so i know what autism is like and i know what it looks like and honestly i feel bad for kids that have this like have it like to a certain degree like a really high degree i feel terrible for the parents like i mean i think it's awesome that the show shows that what it's really like to people that aren't educated on what autism is and like what they go through people that have the disability each and every day and how their life is way more difficult than a, a normal person's life is you know and i mean i have a disability but i don't i have a learning disability that's not Autism's like a disability. Like it is a high scaled learning disability. I have a very low level learning disability. Autism is a very high learning disability. So like I feel for those people. And honestly, I mean autism crazy. Like it it's just mind blowing that what like people go through like parents go through their siblings go through kids that do have autism like it's just it just blows my mind like yeah but anyway and also i hate people that like make fun of autism kids and like do all that stuff i don't think that's right because you don't know what their situation is they can't fucking help it because they are literally they literally don't even know a cure for autism so it's like like it's very I don't feel like people know they need people just need to educate themselves if they do come within contact of a autistic person I think they should be a little bit more cautious of what they say to them because it's you're they're autistic they can't help what they say or do or you know the situation they freak out very easily they're very you know very uh Autistic kids are very hyper, so a lot of them are very hyper people, a lot of them are very organized people, a lot of them are, they have to have everything in, like, order, they gotta have everything in pairs, I've heard, I think, um, I just know that autistic kids are, I think autistic kids are awesome, but that's just me, I just think everyone's awesome, because I don't judge by who you are, race, color, alien, purple, I don't fucking care, you're cool. If you're cool, you're cool. You know, I'm not going to make fun of you. I've judged. We've all had those moments where we've judged people. I've had those moments. I feel terrible about it, but we all, we're human. So, like, honestly, it's just sad that people do make fun of these kids just because they have a learning disability and they're not normal or they're not, you know, 
no, I just feel bad for people like the kids, like autistic kids in general that are in high school and like in school in like el elementary school, middle school and high school because like those normal kids that are in your grade are going to make fun of you just because you have a learning disability and they're just going to be a bunch of fucking dicks and just be make fun of you. Like honestly, it's so shitty that there are parents out there teaching their children to make fun of other people that aren't like their lifestyle. It's just so stupid. Like be yourself, just love yourself, be yourself and just go upon your day, have your, the friends you have and have the friendship group you have. And if you do come across anyone like that has autism, I think you should be, I think everyone should be kind to everyone. And not make fun. It's just so stupid that bullying exists. Like, honestly, just be nice to everybody. Like, if they're not doing anything to you, if they're not bothering you, if they're, I mean, I understand if they're, like, bothering you and really annoying you, then you maybe say something and very, be very kind about it and say, hey, look, like, um, thank you for the offer. Thank you, but you're just being kind of a little bit more strongly than I would expect it to be, so can you please, like, back off a little bit? Just be nice about it, you know, guys? I'm just saying, be kind, please. I'm just trying to spread kindness. I'm a very kind, kind-hearted person and caring, and I care about others. And honestly, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to, my point is, just be kind to others. Autistic kids don't know what you know, don't know how to, some of them don't know how to control themselves, and that's okay, like, honestly, let them freak out, like, don't, like, just stand there and look embarrassed, like, just, like, let them freak out, like, just say they're autistic and move on, like, you know, you can't do anything about it, they're autistic, so, like, leave it alone, mind your own business, <laughs> but anyway, and just, you know, just be aware of what you say to kids that do have autism or people in general, even adults have autism. So just be aware and be careful with the words that you do say because words can hurt other people. And it's just, I'm just trying to spread awareness. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm rambling. I could go on and on and on and on about this. But anyway, all right, guys, we are going to react to Shazzy or I think it's 50 Reasons Why to Ship Shazzy or something like that. But anyway, all right, guys, I love you, and I hope you guys have a good day, or night, or whatever. Mwah. Let's go. I'm quitting. No, you're not. I hate it there. 55 reasons. Sorry, guys. Just give it a chance. Hey. Hi. Hi. You're busy, right? Honestly, this dude sucks. Yeah, he's busy. Yeah, he does. I I think Izzy. I think Izzy's very pretty. <laughs> We're competitive with each other. But still consider it with the other. Found things they have in common, which mended fences. We just got so close so fast. You take care of my kids and business. We're so alike. My brother has autism, so I'm like constantly looking out for him. Half the reason why I spend so much time easily sharing this. I don't want to go home. Last year, you know, we drove the car into a tree. Her parents bought a new home. Oh, because your boyfriend, you love him very much. And Gwen has vodka in her locker. Do crazy cute things for one for the other. Cheers. Thank you for 
are so cute. Izzy's influence on I love Sam. Thoughts on, on their boyfriends. Is he's as sensitive as Casey's neighborhood? Make each other laugh. They're so cute. They're so cute. Being cute together in the little fort. <laughs> They're so cute. They could find it in the show. Casey's boyfriend Evan thinks Izzy was her first friend because they're the closest in school. And because she talks about her a lot. Izzy knows more about Casey's personal stuff than Evan. Managed to warm her up to Sam. That's not a bad idea. Your name's Izzy. Yeah. They're really cool. You just have to get to know that. It's important to Casey that Evan likes Izzy and the others. New favorite person. They're so cute. This isn't doing that. Casey's boyfriend may be jealous. Is he generally like Sam?
She won't even be interested in Nate or betray or betraying Izzy. She won't ever lose. Believe me. The disappointment in Casey's face. Oh, I feel bad. How bad the kids. But surprise. Is he? Friends. Let's four have promised to never leave each other. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, they're so cute. Aww. A possible prediction on the relationship. There are a lot of principles that no one ever questions. Like, why a mini cop spreads his Oh, I feel bad for his poor thing. Casey's mom knew something immediately and hinted. <laughs> So fucking cute. Oh, they're so cute. I really hope there's a season three. If there isn't, I'm gonna fucking cry. Because honestly, Izzy and Casey deserve so much more development. Like, they've already developed a pretty cool ship going on here and I think it's awesome and I really hope that they will continue this because I think the show deserves justice it really does it really deserves the credit it needs it, it's very underrated that's what I hate I I hate the fact that the show is so underrated like most of the shows on Netflix like I understand like Orange New Black is great and everything but this show deserves so many seasons like oh my god like this at least least deserve like five seasons or something like that i want a season three really bad i think it deserves it and if you guys haven't watched season two please don't watch this video because this is season two and so i'm just letting you know that all right guys i love you and i hope you guys enjoyed the video they're just so cute i just ship it all right i love you